hello. Welcome back. Let me move you a little closer here. The Stone Shard. It's time. We're going to finally face down whatever the next step of the main quest is. But first, we're going to eat this apple. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So every time you sleep, you get an apple. I wonder if there's like... Can you abuse that? Can I just like sleep? Oh, I, they probably don't let you just like sleep for one hour. Come out here, grab an apple, go back to sleep, right? I would imagine not. I believe, it's been a minute since I last played this, but I believe I left off ready to go, right? We got bandages, we got pain management, we got uh, this essence, I guess. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually store this ring because I'm still not sure if I want to use it. Well, I already am insane. Hmm. I'm gonna store it. We'll come back to it later. Probably never, let's be honest, but yeah. Let's get it. This time. The moment you've all been waiting for. We fulfilled our contract. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that so? Nicely done. One less problem for us to worry about. Time for me to talk with the elder, make sure our horses are ready. In the meantime, I guess you'll need some better gear. The local smith and their carpenter are skillful lads, but they lack knowledge of the intricacies of their craft. Now, Manshire. Ooh, this is... We're going to a new town. That's the other story. The great magistrate poured significant sums into it. They have a fort there. All in all, an important location. I heard they even brought some craftsmen from Bryn. It would be a good idea to pay them a visit. But they're looking for mercenaries as well, so that at least at least you'll have something to do while I'm busy with the caravan. So here's my advice. Pack your things and go there. I'm done with my part, I'll send you a message. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's go. We're moving, to, we're moving up in the world. Here I was thinking this was just going to be, all right, we, we're ready. Let's hit the freaking road. Now it's uh, time to go make some more money in a different town. Where the hell is Manshire? Oh, this is a long walk. This entire episode might be uh, the hero's journey. So we'll head, we'll head just like straight, not straight uh, east, because I'll run into this high danger tower. We'll probably head like, like this, hit the road. Or, you know, I could just follow the road. You know, let's do that. Let's just follow the road. Now, if I follow the road, what are the odds a uh, forest viper pops out and eats me, though? Like, 0%. And that's the whole point of this series, I think. Check my inventory one more time. We got food ready to go. We got bandages. We got pain management. We got a full water skin. Let's do it. Yeah, this is exciting. I didn't I didn't realize. I mean, I, I, I recognize that the map is very large. And yet, for some reason... It did not click in my brain, like, yeah, we're probably just going to go to another town. I kind of assumed that most of these, like, most of this map was unused. Here we go, we're on a, on our hero's journey. I wonder if they have someone in that town who's going to, uh, also buy pelts. Oh, I've been playing too much of other games, I just tried to... I tried to dash using the key binding for dashing in Hades. Oh, that's search for traps. I also just searched for traps mid-combat. Ladies and gentlemen, I have figured it out. There are no traps. Just wolves. As they bite my arms off. Yeah, we're back to Stone Shard. Uh, I'm excited for this new new town. I don't know. I kind of... I, I didn't know how much to expect, right? I tempered my expectations for how much was in this game at this point. And there's more than I expected. I kind of just thought we were going to be in this small town doing basic contracts. And then when I turn that in, it's going to be like, hey, uh, we'll be ready soon, TM. And then the soon is just their way of saying we'll be ready when we put it in the game. Let's keep track of where we are, by the way. We are here. We'll be on the crossroads soon. This episode may just be a lot of walking and talking to people. I probably... Are we going to keep the this one? I don't know. We'll see how long it takes to get there. This guy's going to cut me to pieces. Oh, wait. They're fighting each other? Outlaw versus... Oh, he's fighting a wolf. I see. You think you can turn and face me while your buddy gets eaten by a wolf? Oh, this dude was, that dude was strong. Hey, thanks for the free wolf pelts, idiot. Damn. Do I, do I get XP for that henchman's death? It said I got XP, but I wonder if the wolf got the XP? You think this wolf leveled up? There's a lot of wolves here, wait a minute. 
This is a lot of wolves. So he's gonna... I don't think there's a way for me to use my four here. I don't think he'll ever move into my square. Doesn't matter. We kind of... We kind of just crush the wolves. Like, I feel... I feel like my gear has led me to be pretty strong. I have an, I have an overwhelming sense of courage. And I think that that's going to kill me. Soon. But... All of these quests have felt pretty easy. Not all of them, but like like the, the one we just had. The, not the one we just had, but the one we had recently where we fought the Necromancer. That was a close fight. But like the quest before, I walked in and I was like, I think I'm just going to crush this. And then I walked in and crushed it. Let's check our gear real quick as well. I think the most important thing is keeping our armor tuned up, right? I saw the big jump in survivability as soon as I got that. Curious repaired and then with the shield as well Probably I mean, also check and make sure I don't have a skill point. I do have a skill point. I think I am gonna spec into shields here There's nothing else for me to spec into so I'm gonna spec into shields. Oh, hello Oops Inspect very dangerous, but unaware I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around this bear Although I do get a sneak attack. You know what? It's only very dangerous well, no, do not, no, no, stay away, stay away. He's alarmed, I'm leaving. I think the bears might be my favorite enemy in this game just because of how they work. It feels very correct that that bear would just chase me out of its territory. I like that a lot. So where am I? Uh, I think we're here. I just, I, it'll be easy to tell because I just go down at the next four-way crossroads. However... I do want to go up and hit this point of interest as well, so go clear out that probably camp. Now, Stone Chart, I've been talking about this in most of the things I've been doing lately. It's on my list of games that I'm like, yo, this is this is real exciting. I can't wait to see more. I think this is I think it's four, but the last time I said four, I couldn't remember what my four choices were. But it's like Stone Chart when it releases, I'm it's gonna be great. And then Ratropolis when it releases. Oh, bear trap. We'll disarm that. Don't worry, bears. I <laughs> got you covered. Ratropolis, of course, the other game I play on this channel. Gonna be pretty great, I assume. There's a dead horse. I think this means we're at... Well, maybe it means nothing. I guess it means nothing. I thought those were always at crossroads, but I guess not. My plan here to hit this point of interest is to find this spot, the the T pose position in the map, and then just go back one and up one from there. As long as the wolves don't level up, I can probably take them. Probably. Let's try to raise shield. So I basically just get two turns where I don't take damage. The turn I use it and the turn after I have a very high likelihood of not getting hit. Now the other games I'm excited for, I picked up Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, and I was playing that a little bit. And that game seems really good. I'm excited to see that one release. And then this uh Hades is the other one. Oh that is for Stone Shard, Mountain Blade, Hades, and Ratropolis. That's what I said, and then for some reason I was like, there's not four. There's only three. I was wrong. I don't think I have enough room to take this pallet. I'm not gonna toss anything else here. I'm gonna hold on to the time and the other stuff. Well, I may as well eat something though. Can I offer you a nice cheese in this trying time? You gotta watch and make sure nothing spoils on me. Oh, the stew spoils in one day. Good thing I checked. I'll just eat it and go down to 0% hunger just to be safe. I don't want that. I don't want my good hard-earned stew going to waste. I'm like, by feel, I'm pretty sure this is where I should go up. I gotta ask, who's destroying these carts and then just leaving shit in them? I feel like the, the point of interest is north, so we're gonna go get lost in the woods. It's okay, I have incredible sense of direction. I have no fear. This is definitely where the point of interest is, right? 
We're gonna find out. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like fairly certain this is where the point of interest is. It's probably somewhere in the middle of the map. Yeah, look at that. My natural sense of direction is incredible. I am a genius. That's right. An absolute mapping genius. The shield. Oh, he did. It. I'm not like immune to being hit with the shield up, of course. It's just a higher chance to block, right? Yikes. Well, he died. Uh, we're alright. Put the torso up. Take a few steps back. I don't want their buddy to. I don't know if he got aggroed. It doesn't seem like he got aggroed. Masochism seems really good if you're playing a caster. That energy regen seems huge. Mancatcher is spotted, Mancatcher is alarmed. Where? Where? Oh fuck. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take a I'm just gonna take a quick detour to the other map. And we're gonna Wait, I'm full health again? Holy shit, wait, why did I restore so much health? How did I restore so much health? Masochism? Oh, huh. That's weird. I thought I was at 22. Maybe just stepping between maps did it? I wasn't really looking at my health. I was at like 22 and then I looked away and I looked back and we were at full. Oh. I'm gonna pop the time and then I think I'm gonna go fight these fools. Am I gonna fight the time? Nah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna rest because they seem like... Oh, there's enemies nearby. Okay. I'm gonna rest because they seem like they're not gonna aggro on me. We're just gonna go ahead and let our max HP get back up there. I think that's good. I'm gonna use this time. What what better time than now? He's still there. Can I can I get the sneak attack? No. It seems really hard to sneak attack enemies to me. I've never I've never really figured a way to get it to happen repeatedly. I need those guys. And that's everyone, right? Yeah. Mission accomplished. Point of interest overtaken. I've gotten a whole bucket. Ooh, buddy. And of course, the chest. Traps real quick, just to make sure. Although I don't think treasure chests are trapped. This is in, like, D&D. &D. Ooh. That's a lot of money. I'm glad I came over here. That was like a hundred and something gold. 175, that was like 200 gold, 225 to be exact. Okay, so I'm here. I should go south, east, east, south a bunch, and then return. We'll be at Manshire. Let's go. We got our little detour out of the way. It was a, it was a bit of a more difficult journey. I assume that this game has enemies that don't level up with you. I'm certain of that because we went and crushed that one zone the the like uh, my mortal enemy fucking snakes do i need to should I, is there i have an antidote should i just clear this i don't know i think i'm just gonna Drink some water to fight the intoxication. This will do 30 more damage to me. I think I should probably just rest it off. Although this is doing this is doing a lot of intoxication. Do I have anything to stop intoxication? Hmm. I could have used this anti-venom, right? Removes poisoning. I'm gonna rest and we're gonna see what happens here. Wounded. Holy shit. It it Poison can injure your torso? That's insane. I had no idea. I actually had no idea. Okay. Next time I'm just gonna pop the freaking anti-venom. Let's rest and see what happens. Okay, it'll go down slowly. Ah, that snake beat the shit out of me. And I threw up. Don't rest in a pool of your own vomit. You weirdo. Drink some water to help fight off the intoxication, right? Because this does, it does lower your intoxication by an amount. Pain's going down, okay. 
I have a I have a big summer sausage there if I need to eat more. On the bright side, I've used up enough supplies that if I want to, I can get another pelt. All right, we can just move this stuff down, move this bad boy over, and then boom, we've got another pelt. Drink one more thing of water here. I don't need to chomp my sausage. I'll chomp it now. Get the hunger resistance in there. I think we're good. That viper beat the shit out of me. I mean, the viper didn't beat the shit out of me. My own desire to see how poison would do its number on me beat the shit out of me. Now we know. Uh, don't get poisoned. I mean, or if you get poisoned by a fucking snake that... I'm pretty sure, by the way, that the snake missed. I think that the game was like, forest viper misses, and then I was poisoned. I do want to pick some... I want to pick herbs. I want to get mind wart for sure. Because I want to fix my broken up sanity from that time that I accidentally sacrificed a bunch of my blood on the the altar to Satan. As is often the case. You know how it goes. Has this ever happened to you? Just pulling this guy away from his body, hopefully. Parish idiot. And now your friend. Oh, there's two of them. I'll be... I'll be going now, actually. I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to get murked on this one. Oh, a splint. Hell yeah. So this is... Oh, this is the surgeon's toolkit. Also really good. I think they give you one of these in the tutorial, right? It's like a multi-use splint, but it also heals like a lot more. Okay, this should be the crossroads. We're almost there. We're almost to the end of our hero's journey. And then I'll probably just like... Talk to everyone in the town, grab a room, and then call it good there. And that'll be probably around 20-ish minutes. A different type of episode, right? A different a different style. Instead of just being Go Clear Dungeon, it's uh, a journey across the map, fighting a camp on the way. And we'll probably do some of these average quests afterwards. Maybe we make a lot of money from just looting carts. Fuck the rabbits hostile, get me out of here. Help. I, I'm interested... What I'm curious about now, I guess, is how those forest vipers spawn. Like, why, why did one just pop up? I was pretty sure there was nothing there. Oh, we're gonna get there and it's gonna be nighttime and there's gonna be no one around, right? We gotta hold alt. I would like it if there was a way for the game to just, like, leave alt held down for me. You know. When when walking when walking through the forest on a big long journey to a, the other side of the world, you want to just make sure you do every single herb you see on the way, no exceptions. I want to keep heading south. Although this isn't the forest, this is the fields. Oh, this guy looks. Like, this guy's got a shield. What's his? Uh, what's his thing? Oh, he raised his shield. We're equal. Okay. You know what? You raise your shield. I raise my shield. How's that feel? I can do that too. Oaken shield. That might actually be better than what I have, because my shield's kind of busted up. I'm gonna have to check that out. I like these dudes doing shield raise. It feels like if you shield raise first, it's worse. For sure. I'll take this ring because I can just wear it and sell it when we get there. I want to check out this shield, though. Toss this bad boy off to the side for a moment. One protection. Okay, it's worse. And what about the board shield? This is probably garbage. Yeah. And then I'm not going to check any weapons or anything like that. I know. I'm pretty sure our sword's the best sword anyway. I'm not going to do all these herbs because I know some of them are negative and it's not really worth my time to do things that are like energy replenishment. Poppy's negative. I think it lower, has a chance to lower your sanity and it might cause you to go on a bad trip because it's basically heroin. Well, it's not basically heroin. I don't know anything about heroin. I just assume because... It's it's an opiate, right? You can test positive for opium if you have a poppy seed muffin the day of a drug test. I wonder if that's actually true. Because as I think about it... Oh, hello. I've been surrounded. Too bad I didn't take some poppy before this. As I think about it, though, that, that anecdote about like failing a drug test because you had poppy the day before. I wonder if that's just like a made-up tale. It could be. Could just be something that no one has ever actually had happen to them that I just heard about and assumed is rural. Rural? Assumed is a rural? There we go. Nice ambush, idiots. 
I don't know. I, the only thing that I really would like, uh, maybe this would be, this would definitely change the balance of the game. But I feel like it would be nice if fighting those enemies felt like it had some more of a tangible benefit. Right? What did I get from fighting those goons? Nothing really. Just some, just some experience. I'm about. Watch out! I'm about to level up, and you looked like just the right amount of experience. God, t-shirts in the early 2000s were wild. I, I definitely have seen that on a few t-shirts. Now, maybe like once in real life, but mostly online through targeted t-shirt ads. It's dark out. What the hell? I'd kick a spot. War dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run for the herbs. The road is actually quite dangerous, as it turns out. I don't want to dash him here because I'm gonna end up at a weird angle. I don't want to dash him here. Well, let me make sure that I... Fuck, he raised a shield. You know what, Buster? I'm just gonna wait it out. Nice shield raise, idiot. What is this war dog? Equal? Mm -hmm. It's a ferocious monster. The shield. Hmm. What a ferocious monster. And should I have a round shield, right? Let me check it just to make sure. I, I imagine if he's dead, yeah, it's probably a little busted up, but... May as well check. Be nice. I think I might just throw this vivifying essence away. Excuse me, sir. I was trying to go do some herbs in the forest. I would appreciate it if you would not come in and interrupt. Me. Oh god. What's he at? Five percent. Okay, just don't miss. Great. That was a that was a big crit though. That was a big crit. He has wounded me twice. I don't appreciate that kind of a move. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic there. This is why I need to change how I am set up here, because it's very easy for me to accidentally bump the mic when I go to use my keyboard. Move it slightly to the left here, to the right. I mean, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab an, oh, that's a mistake. Turns out if you hold alt and click something, it uses it. Today I learned. What does this do? Intoxication change, pain resistance. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these bad boys. This seems like the best herb in the game to me by a lot. Also, I should point out, uh, it's dark and with the screen effect, I basically can't see anything right now. I'm just kinda, just kinda hoping that I see uh, what I'm seeing is correct, but it's very dark. I have a, I have a, yeah, I have one of these healing salves. I'm gonna pop some healing salve. I'm just gonna use it all, get my health back up. And that dude's crit was pretty huge. I'm running out of sausage. How much money do I have? 490. I'm gonna rest back to full health because having full health is nice when you run into situations like that, right? Having having high health is good when you get murked in the forest by some dude who crits you. That's what I'm thinking here. And intoxication's out, we're good, let's hit the road. I, I can like I can mostly see, right? Using my uh Like I, I can make make out an outline of the road and I can hold alt to see anything else. Enemy? But I cannot see, for example, where the enemy is. I gotta assume ah, he's down there. You know what? Uh, you know what? You have a nice day, sir. Enjoy robbing and pillaging the high roads. I'll be going. We're two tiles away. I've just gotta not die now. We're almost there. Yo, I will go pick up that bog bean though. I think this is the best herb for combat. Bog bean and mind wart, in my opinion. I hit B. I wanted to hit I. What does Poppy do? Intoxication and sanity down, but it lowers your pain by a lot. You know, I'm just gonna throw that away. If I use that now, I'm going... I'm, I'm trying to not go insane. But yeah, Bog Bean, Intoxication Change, Pain Change, Pain Resistance, Bleed Resistance, and Morale Change. Seems good to me. If there's any herbs I'm missing, I would like to hear, like, hey, check out this herb, it's really strong. Or, stay away from this herb, it's garbage. Because it's hard, it's hard for me to tell without just like, wait, wait, let, me go, let me go grab this Agrimony up here, for example, and see what it does. I, I think that most of them, basically I think that something like Agrimony is okay, right? Energy replenishment, health restoration, and immunity. Yeah, that's okay. Let's pop it. Just because I'm going to go grab the time to compare. 
Time gives pain resistance. You know, pain resistance. Time is also pretty good, I think. Pain resistance and health restoration. And what what is my uh, was my youth, uh, quantifier for it being good? I'm mainly trying to ask what is good in combat. For the most part, I feel like instead of having herbs, if I'm using them for like healing, I would rather just have enough food to uh, outlive the hunger. What's in the cart? Ooh, this is good alcohol. Like, this is actually real expensive stuff. I've got this unidentified potion. You know, Vivify Essence is 100 or 250 gold. Huh. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna toss the time away, and by toss I mean eat it. And then we're just gonna take this with me, and I'll probably sell it. It's a real valuable one. I think the m most important thing is it's stacked pain resistance, right? It gives you two stacks of pain resistance. Due to the fact that it's night, I may actually just end this episode going into town, and then we'll do like a getting used to the town episode. Because I imagine everyone is just going to be like, hey, loser, why are you in my house? I'm going to sleep. Uh-huh. Well, this means I'm going to rob him blind. Who keeps a bucket in their wardrobe? What are you doing here? This dude, he's got his priorities intact. I don't know who you are, buddy. Is that your clothes? Hello, ma'am. It's already too late. Hello, anything interesting going on? Uh, no, I don't have time for rumors. From early morning to late night, I hustle about the yard. Keep on that grind. She's a boss, babe. So much work, I don't have a minute to sit down. Eh, have fun. Enjoy sleeping. You know, I'm actually just gonna ransack all the houses since it's night. That's what we're gonna do at the end of here. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna take anything worthless, but like, yo, two whole dollars? Hope you don't mind, buddy. That's my two dollars now. Oh, a deer hide! I'll be back for this. Is that your clothes, by the way? I can't help but notice that I don't find any clothes in any of these people's houses. I guess it's not unreasonable to assume that they have only one pair of clothes. Hello. My poor, poor son. Uh-huh. Anything interesting going on in this land? Uh-huh. I don't know. Ugh, to hell with it all. Anything else? Okay. Is this your son? Your son looks like an idiot. <laughs> I've got bad news, lady. I think he might be a looter. Or worse, a punk rocker. I've got nothing against uh, punk rock, necessarily. The town seems similarly laid out to... Uh, I don't even remember what the first town was called. What is this place called? Osbrook, that's right. Simple earrings. So there is a lot of stuff to loot, actually. I kind of just expected it to be a little gold. I think I think I will hit the tavern. Grab a room, hopefully. Oh, oh well. Selma. Anything interesting going on in these lands? I don't know and I don't care. I have enough on my plate already. Cook this, bring that, wash clean. It's a dog's life, and I spit on it. I mean it's a better dog's life than the dog I killed in the forest on the way here, lady. I mean, guess not. How long do you plan to stay? I will stay for a week. When you worry about your belongings, just put them all in the chest by your bed. Your things will be safe there, I guarantee it. What are you selling? She's got some food. You know what? Can I interest you in some fine mead? This is actually pretty... The, the game value is like it's worth 25. I bet she gives you about 75%. Yeah, I bet she gives you about 25% of your of the value of the item that you're selling if it's something she's interested in, right? Also, I think 42 is the correct price for pelts. I'll have to look around. We'll shop around for prices and things like that. It's going to be a big shopping episode. Shopping and then probably just going and trying to do a quest, but uh, I may I'll probably just go save after that. Oh, or maybe you know what? I'll just spend the 10 minutes to walk around, meet everyone and shop in this episode. And then we'll save again. So it doesn't matter how long you sleep, right? It just matters that you sleep a little bit. Theoretically, it's better to not sleep for long. You get the vigor, right? XP up and things like that, but I don't know if it's actually worth it. No free apples in this tavern. What a shithole. What the hell? Nightstand, $3. Excellent news. 
So we're gonna we're gonna go around, we're gonna meet everyone, and I'm gonna loot some houses potentially. Uh what are you selling? Sell her another mead. I'm not gonna keep these mead, I don't think. Oh, no, I'm gonna keep the mead. I'm gonna sell the vermouth and the vivifying essence. I don't know if 42 gold is the right price for pelts. We're gonna we're gonna look around and see what people are offering. What do we, where we gotta go? We gotta go to the blacksmith. We gotta go find the carpenter. Let's we'll see what the blacksmith has here. What are you selling? You always sell. Look at this fucking look at that thing. It's like a fucking plague doctor mask. What the hell? It's 4,700 real dollars. Oh god, that's a lot of money. Oh, it's expensive to live here. This is the California of this game. Three gold to repair this thing. I'm gonna just keep up on the Curious, and I may as well keep up on the male quaff. 42 gold, so 40, oh, 131 for the, oh, the graph though. That's worth selling here, I think. I think that basically if I see anyone offering me more than what I've seen as the base price, that's what I'm gonna sell it at. What does this guy sell? What are you selling? Oh, he sells the sells the cloth armor, I see. Blacksmith mittens. This gives you a four percent increase to lock picking and disarming. I would have assumed it would make it harder considering these are massive gloves. What does fumbling do? I think fumbling is just a chance to miss your attack. Two percent chance to miss your attack. I think I don't want that. Sounds terrible. 49 for the wolf pelt here, you know what? I'll sell that. And I think we're mostly sold up. Let's go talk to that lady's deadbeat son. Where are you running to? Oh, he's just an alcoholic. What are you selling, alcoholic? He has one dollar and some mead. Living the life. Anything interesting going on in these lands? I don't know the hell with it all. Mm -hmm. Very interesting take. What are you selling? When I'm in town, do I, I do want to sell the vermouth. 75 gold seems like the correct amount to get for the vermouth. I think while we're in town, it's right to uh, to buy... Oh, wait, does he have the sword treatise I need? Ranged weapons, daggers, and staves. Unfortunate. Garlic. Unholy resistance, eh? Rider shield, right. So this place um, I'm experiencing here is this place is way too expensive for me right now but we're gonna we're gonna make our fortune here i'm sure of it i wanna buy some food 23.45 i don't know if that's the right price I just i feel like i spend so much time going like all right am i am i getting scammed here probably not is it alt click no, is it shift click it's shift click i'm just gonna buy a bunch of vegetables and just eat them all The reason I thought there was a confirm, there was not a confirm. Eat one garlic in one week. This is just gonna bring my hunger all the way down to manageable. And then before we set out on the quest, I will make sure to grab a new food item. Is this the tailor? No, you're just some random goon. I thought there was a sign outside that said tailor. Or not tailor. Are you really not heard anything interesting? No time for rumors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just standing in there. Oh, this is the carpenter. Hello, sir. Dirk. Oh, look at these cool shields. Look at this thing. My god. How exciting. I'm excited to start earning my gold in this town. I might drop this ring, honestly. I'm gonna drop the copper ring. It's may as well. I think I am going to drop the noiseless gold ruby ring. I can't tell. I don't think it's worth it though. I don't think I want- I want to get my sanity up high because I think the chance of getting a big buff is better than the constant masochism. Alright. Uh, I could pick up a new shield. I'm going to save up my money though. My goal here now is to just... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna learn everything about the town all at once is my plan. I'm gonna just we're gonna we're gonna grab like a quest and then we're gonna we're gonna learn it piecemeal. I think it's super overwhelming for me if I try to learn the entire town all at once. Hello man of the cloth. Josh. Anything interesting? No. What do you got for sale? The priest. Who's got leeches? I don't I don't really like leeches. Although 
Mm, nah. And maybe antitoxin, although I do have a straight up antivenom, right? Which is better. Or antidote, right? It lowers intoxication and it makes poison resistance instead of antitoxin, yeah. This is more rare. Rarer, if you will. Okay, I don't think this guy has anything I want. Maybe, you know what, let's grab an enchantment scroll. 225 gold, yeah. I'm gonna grab an enchantment scroll and we're also gonna identify this potion. And let's put an enchantment on... I think I want to put an enchantment on the cloak. Right? Or actually, let's put it on the necklace. Yeah, like, oh, health restoration and energy. This seems great. Let's ID this potion. Potion of stone skin. Hmm. Presumably stone skin makes you more... Oh, I think I had that as uh, the goon, right? The first guy you play as. Vethel? Was his name Vethel? I have no idea what his name was. That's a, that's a question long forgotten by me. Check these sacks real quick. There's a lot of horses in this town. One thing that you'll learn if, if they give me the option is I hate horse riding in games. I hate having a horse. I don't know what it is. I really could not tell you why. This house looks different. I want to see who's going to give me my quest. But no, it's like every game you offer me... Hey, you get to start with a horse and you get to run your enemies down. Fucking hate it. Do not want it whatsoever. Uh, anything interesting? Take you no stranger to wars. Tell me how come can, that the dead can rise from their graves and walk the earth. Good heavens! In all my time, I have not seen such pandemonium. Whatever, lady. I don't. Really, I don't know if I really asked for your life story. I just asked if there was anything interesting going on in these lands. But I feel like I've gotten a good handle on the town. I just need to figure out who I talk to for a quest. I'm gonna assume that they're in. Oh, uh, they're probably in this castle here. That's gonna be my guess. Hello, sir. Me and the other lads had this argument to drive folk away from the life of banditry. Uh, okay, yeah, we've we've heard this dialogue. Uh, we should draw and quarter them. My buddies think we should hang them. I've I've heard that one before. Yo, there's so many shiny things. Y'all give me that cheese. Hell yeah. Walk in here. And give myself help myself to the cheese. Hello. What are you selling, man? This is the governor. Is there actually no quest in this town? Because that would be crazy if there was no quest. I hope there's a quest, at least. Do you not need anything? What's my what's my journal say here? Fine Manshire's Elder. Ah, not Governor. Are you the... Wait, do I need to... No, oh, okay. So who's the Elder, then, if it's not the Governor? Is he in the basement? In the dungeon, perhaps? We keep our old people in the locked up in hell? Because we don't want people to see him? Yeah, these are worth 10 gold. I'll take them. Well, who the hell is the elder of this town? Alright, can you tell me? Never thought I'd have to take up arms, but there's just no other way now. In these times like these, you can only rely on yourself. Okay, I'm surprised it's not the governor. I really expected him to be that guy. What are you doing? Uh, do you need any help? Got some work for you. Here are the contracts. Return of the Necromancer and Lost Relic. I will take Return of the Necromancer. There's a place nearby. Locals call it Dirty Mound. I heard that's where a dark mage, Wazot the Rampant, had been buried a long ago. However, he never found his peace. He just kept on coming back to life each time in a new body. Ten years ago, we already had to deal with him. These were tough times, but I fear he has returned once more. Some lads spotted the undead lurking around the crypt. This doesn't bode well. We have to deal with him before he has a chance to start causing trouble. I also heard that there is a magic amulet hidden somewhere in the crypt. It is the very thing that resurrects him. I'm ready to pay a handsome reward. We find the emwood and get rid of the necromancer once and for all. Hell yeah. Mark the right spot. Come within four days. What are you selling? Okay, this is the elder. We've done it. Just some dude right outside of the tavern. Wow, I could have found that guy a lot quicker. All right, let's go in. We're going to save. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save. We're going to stock up for the next adventure at the start of the next episode. I'm going to grab some food. Probably some... Eh, what else do I need? I don't know. I think we're mostly good. Just a little food, right? And there we go. That's that's today's Stone Shard episode. I'm pretty excited, yo. This game... New, somehow the new town has amped me up a little bit. I'm, I'm looking forward to... Even though it's pretty probably going to be very similar quest to what we were just doing. Yo, the, the quest to get over here was exciting. That was really fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. 
if you uh, hang on let me hang on i've forgotten how to do my own youtube outro let's try that again <clears throat> i'll just cut that out <laughs> we'll cut that out <laughs> thanks for watching if you enjoyed leave me a like subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one have a good one